I'll be showing how to use the built-in training and help topics in Microsoft Teams. I can't tell you how many times people come to me and say, Hey Mike, how do I do X? Or Hey Mike, is there a video for this? Or how can I do this great thing with Teams channels? Well, it turns out these are built right into Teams. Educators, students, parents can all try these out. So if I go to the lower left right here, there's this help button. Not everyone clicks this, but if you click it, topics, training, and what's new. So let's go to topics. Check this out. All of the education content is built right in. All the teams training, everything here, help, creating teams, remote learning, school leaders. If I click on one, create a PLC team. You can see there's a nice detailed topic. I'll click the back button there. I can look at the new grades tab. So all of this information is right here, right inside of Teams. And I encourage you to browse around. You can probably find the question you're trying to get answered. Training is another one I'm a fan of. As someone who likes to make quick tip videos, it turns out there are a bunch in here. So look at this introduction, getting started. Maybe I go down here and I want to play a video on conducting meetings. Hi, I'm Lauren, an assistant principal. Did you know you These are all built right in to Teams under this training tab and you can have all sorts of topics. Look at all these things. So if you are someone who's trying to ramp up your school or organization on Teams, really encourage them to look at this training tab. I encourage you to look at this training tab. The other nice thing it has is the built-in quick start guide. This is one of our most popular guides. If I open the quick start guide, I can download that PDF. So here's that PDF. One of the most popular things I've ever put out on Twitter has been this Teams quick start guide. And that's linked right in that Teams training module. What's new? Again, I get asked a lot, hey Mike, when is such and such feature coming out? I haven't seen this rollout yet. A lot of people ask, when do I get that new meeting and calling experience with together mode? Everything right here, what's new? July 31st, how do I get the preview of together mode? Click the link and the, all the information is there. So checking out that what's new tab is great. The last couple things I'll show if I go back into the lower left here and hit help, maybe I have a problem, maybe I have a bug. I'll hit report a problem and I describe my role. I'm an educator. This takes me right to the support site where I can file a bug. So I just have teams here. I go down, I fill out the title and description. I can file an issue and there are experts specifically for educators in our support team. The last thing I'll show is another. The last thing I'll show is something else that I get asked a lot. Hey Mike, I really would like this new feature that teams doesn't have. How can I get that? Well, go down to the lower left and hit help and you can go to suggest a feature and this will take you to user voice. So let's click that. User Voice is the site where you can vote on and add new suggestions. So you can see topics here that other people have added. I can vote. You can find out, oh, Teams is working on this one. Great, hard mute, that's a popular one. I can also go and add my own or I can search for other ideas. So the Teams User Voice site is the place that the group tracks all the incoming requests and will let you know what's coming up and what's in process. So that is a quick tour of the built-in help and training topics, PD, and everything else in Microsoft Teams. It's right there and I encourage you to try it out today. If you found this video useful and you want to make sure you get all of my latest quick tip updates, subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell to get the notification.